one rule that you have to follow to see the change in life. One, every single person watching, if you want change out of, if you want change, if you want to achieve dreams, this is what you have to do. Before we establish that rule, let's talk about something else. How can you run around right now like a headless chicken? The majority of people are just running around like headless chickens, not knowing where they're going, not knowing where their life purpose is. They're just doing what other people are doing, the norm. So I want you to do one thing, get a piece of paper, write it down. What do I want to do in 12 months time? What do I want to be? Who do I want to be in 12 to 24 months time? Write that down, let's establish the vision. Because I have to have a vision to see the change, I have to have a road, a road map to know where I'm gonna go, to know what I wanna be. So what do I wanna be in 12, 24 months time? Write that down. Let me ask you that same question, what do you wanna do? What do you wanna do in 12, 24 months time? You're gonna say to me, Zed, two options. There's two choices I'm gonna give you right now. Either fame or wealth. Financial security, being rich. You're gonna say, Zed, what about the third and fourth option? There's no third and fourth option, right? Don't you lie to me and don't you lie to yourself. But Zed, I have another option that I have to do. This is something that I have to do. No, 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 this is, this is something you do on the side. In today's society, this is what it's all about. Either fame or your financial security because you wouldn't be waking up every morning to go to a job, to sit at a desk, typing things down so you can suffer mentally and even your health is gonna suffer at the same time. I had a boss tell me, Zed, he said, Zed, I have to go to a hospital twice. I go, for what? He's been working at a company for 20 years. Big guy, right? Tall. 20 years. He goes, Zed, I have to go to a hospital twice. I go, for what? He goes, I have to get surgery on my ass. I go, what kind of surgery is this? He goes, well, when you sit down for too much, right, on a chair, these things start piling up in your boom boom, and you have to get them removed. And I know 20 of my colleagues that I had to, that I had to do the same thing. And thousands and hundreds, thousands of people in the world right now, even millions, have to do the same thing from sitting down too much. As humans, we weren't put on this earth to sit down and just type things on a computer. Nah, we were put to gather and hunt. Hunt and gathering, right? Men and women. But there we are sitting on a computer typing shit down. Absolutely useless. We call ourselves executives, CEOs. We're not CEO, we're not executives, we're nobodies. We're just typing shit down on a computer, making somebody else's you know, pocket filled with money. And there we are, broke, talking about the third option and the fourth option. There's no third and fourth option. This is what the society and the reality is. Either famous or either financially secure. So you can't rely on these people and just start making money so you can be generous, right? That's it, you can't argue with me. I will not let you disrespect this channel because you don't know what you're talking about. Yes, if you're gonna say there's a third or fourth option, you don't know what you're talking about. All right? So, now that we established what we wanna do, we wrote it down on a piece of paper. Now what? Well, we established a roadmap, a vision. Now we have to commit to that vision, and that's the rule, commitment. We need to commit. Are you willing for the next 12 to 24 months time just go straight on a straight road. You're like a zombie walking, just like the rest of the people walking like zombies. No, you're going the opposite direction, but you're walking like a zombie and everybody's trying to pull you, right? Everybody's trying to pull you into their lane. No, 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 you're staying on, the, on your lane. Are you willing to do that? Some people say, no, Zed, I can't go for six, 12 months without partying or drinking. I can't do that. Why can't you? Why can't you? Okay, you can't do it, go there. Go to that side of the road. Let somebody else go to that side of the road and we'll see you in six months where you're still working at your drive through job and this guy has established a business, a side income and now he's in Hawaii chilling on the beach while you're there dreaming that you've started, hoping that you've started and you're not getting any younger. What are you talking about? Talking about the fourth and the, and the fifth option. There's no other options. You're just lying to, you're to yourself constantly, lying to me and to yourself because you lack motivation and you're lazy. You don't have a vision in life. You weren't, listen, every single person watching, if you have a vision, that is a holy power talking to you saying that's what you're put on this earth to do. It's no longer regular, this is a holy thing, right? I have a vision, you have a vision. What's your vision? I have a vision. I was put on this earth for a reason. I'm not useless, I matter. I wanna matter, right? So I'm not gonna sit at a desk typing shit down. What the hell am I doing? I'm not a robot, I'm a human. But there I am acting like a robot, typing, you know, doing things, stupid things. So, 
Are you willing to commit? That's just the rule of thumb. Are you willing to commit? Without commitment, there's no success, there's no change. Anything, you wanna be anything in life, you wanna be, forget about money. If you wanna be someone, if you wanna be someone, a doctor or an engineer, now if you're not working these jobs or a pilot, then there's no reason for you to even call yourself, you know, be like I'm a respected figure. Nah, you're working on a desk, you're not a respected figure. Those people are respected figures, these people that change lives, right, people that we need right now, you know, pilots that fly you from here to here, those people are respected figures. You know, I remember being called an executive with my suit, walking around, and I used to, I used to go on LinkedIn, posting things about a topic that I feel like my future employer is gonna appreciate me seeing, you know, appreciate me talking about, so maybe he'll hire me because I'm talking about how technology is this, how, as if I'm interested in this BS, I'm not, I'm just faking it throughout my life, I don't wanna be faking it no more. What are you talking about, third and fourth option? Your health, sitting at a desk, you're eating smelly sandwiches. So your, your diet is now sh crap. You're not eating well. Talking about the third and fourth option. Sit your ass down. You're on a drive through working. This other guy's at Hawaii sitting on the beach. Because he committed, he sacrificed 12, 6 months. Even 24 months. And now you're still at that drive through Remember, that person at the drive through can change his life or her life. Any day, any day. But they choose not to. I know a lot of people. I see them on Snapchat, right? I, I follow a few people on Snapchat where they're they're working at Burger King. I see them. Oh my God, I, Monday sucks. Then next day, party. Friday comes in, party. Next day, back at Burger King. What the hell are you doing? Are you joking me? Right? Like. It boils my blood, so don't you ever talk about the third and the fourth option. There's no third or fourth option in today's world. I'm not waking up every morning to go to a shitty job. That's not just, that's not me. I don't want to do it. Most of you, 90, 100% of you guys, you don't want to do the same thing. So what the hell are we doing lying to ourselves and lazy? So let's start committing to something. Bet on yourself for once. Just once. Once in your life. You've never put a bet on yourself. No, but, but you guys would... Would rather bet on gamble and bet on other people, Conor McGregor, Habib, you'd rather put money on these guys. But you wouldn't bet on yourself. What kind of a person are you? You wouldn't bet on the person that should be bet. Mate, what kind of a joke are you? Are you joking me? I talk like this guy so you can understand where my frustration with people. And I'm sure some of you share the same frustration. And this is the reality, you, we can't be sheep walking like headless chickens. If you have a dream, if you have a vision, that is God talking to you saying that's what you have to do, period. That's holy now, it's, it's became part of your religion, whatever religion, it is part of your religion now. This is something that you have to do. You know why? Because you've got it all. You've got the hard work, but you're not working hard. You've got the motivation, but you're not motivated. You've got the ambition, but you're not ambitious. You've got the commitment, the sacrifices that you can do, but you're not committed or you're not sacrificing anything. But once you start doing all these things, right, you establish your vision, your goal. Now you can be generous with your money, going around tipping a waiter, going around giving to the poor. This guy asks you for money, you give him all of these things, but you're sitting down, doing absolutely nothing, calling yourself an executive. Mate, executive is that. Get on my nerves, mate. Annoy me, man. Annoy me. <sighs> Let me take a deep breath. Commitment. Are you willing to go down the road? Commit it. Having these zombies trying to bring you back. Hey, come with us. Come with us, let's party. Come with us, let's travel. Come with us. Enjoy life for once. Shut the hell up. I'm enjoying life. It's like... It's so arousing to see yourself succeed. Every step is like satisfactory, all right? Every step, the seeing myself moving up from here to here, right now I feel like bursting with joy. But I try to hide it because if I burst with joy, I'll come out arrogant, all right? Seeing yourself changing life, right? Moving from here to here is so, it's like better than partying, it's better than taking drugs, it's better than alcohol. That is my alcohol, that is my drug, seeing myself going from here to here. That is the satisfactory feeling that I set out to achieve, and now I'm achieving it, right? So what the hell are you watching for? Get your ass on, go do something. Do something, bet on yourself for once. But you're watching saying, no, it's too late for me. It's never too late. 6-12 months, that's all it takes. 
All it takes. You've got the power of the internet. You get the power. I've got the power. I'm hungry for the power. Hour after hour. See you again for another 